Good morning everybody, Woody Wack here. It is day two of spring here in New Woodshire and um, yeah it's um, pretty nippy if I'm honest. The sky's lovely though, it's a beautiful morning but it is still so cold. Oh dear. Um, yeah, I need to go pick up my van because we left it there overnight. It had already been serviced so um, yeah if you bear with me one second I'll be back with the van. Right, here we go, got the van, now let's um, go park it up because it's not really required for today, at least I don't think anyway. So yeah, we'll just um, yeah, get this parked up. Ground temperature's still not quite ready for, um, for any work to be done yet. I mean technically we could get some other things done, so why don't we go ahead and do that. Main thing we need is, um, yeah, we need like s some stations for our. So we need a lime station so we can fill up instead of coming back and forth from the shop. And we also need a horse feed um, section, uh, station as well, just because that'll make life feeding the horses. I think we're going to go for horses as well. Did was mulling it over last night and. Um, yeah, horses seem like the a good idea, especially if we get someone in to help us, and that will be yeah a good, good amount of money for us to earn, especially to start out with. But um, yeah, so if you bear with me one second, I will make some telephone calls and I'll see if we can get those things installed. Right, we are back and we've just had everything installed. So, a nice horse feed, horse feed station, nice and simple, but we get a contractor out when it runs low to come top it back up, so that is very handy indeed. It's just kind of on a pay-as-you-go system. Yeah, I'm definitely um, liking that. We've also got the lime station as well, just here. Again, from the same people, just on a pay-as-you-go system, they'll top it up when it gets low, and yeah. That is all good, we're kind of ready to go. But as the ground isn't ready to go, we should really just think about getting some horses, I reckon. Um, bear with me one second, I'll see whether there is, uh, what our limit is for horses in our pen. Right, well, it doesn't actually say, so we will just keep filling it up until it's um, full, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. So, um, I'll take it, we'll take the van. We need to get some sort of transport um, sort of device. So, yeah, let's, um, I'll head to the um, dealership and, um, yeah, we'll see what they got. Back in a minute. Right, we're just at Carlos. Let's um, just park up here, I guess. Um, well, actually, no, we'll park around the back because we are actually going to be buying something and picking something up. So, might as well be a little bit closer. Yeah, here will be absolutely perfect, it looks like. Cool. Right. Lights off. Engine off. Okay, right. Let's um, go and nip into the shop then. So I've had a word with them, and they have got this lizard cattle man. It's quite big. Look at it, it's huge. Apparently it can hold ten horses, which I think will be plenty for now. I'll certainly keep us going. Um, see what modifications we can we can do with it. So we have got that, that. Doesn't look like something we could personally haul with the van though. <laughs> it looks a bit big, doesn't it? Um, we may have to go back and pick up the... I want to we can fit some tarpaulin into it, save them getting wet. But yeah, I think we probably need to go pick up the tractor and pick them up that way. Right, back in a minute guys. Right, I've just had a word with the dealership and they said actually we've got this thing here it is the Bachman Big Master Western WCF. It only holds two horses but it doesn't matter too much today because there is not a lot else to do so we can just um, yeah do a few runs, get some horses and yeah why not let's, let's go purchase it. At least we can um, 
take it in the van. And yeah, that should um, be quite cool. Right, let's go pick it up. Okay, just about to attach. Very nice indeed. It's actually quite a perfect fit. Lovely. Right, now we need to see where the animal dealership is. Let's go have a look on the map, shall we? So the animal dealer is just over here near the port grain elevator. So, um, I guess we'll take a nice, nice drive over there. See you guys in a minute. Okay, and looks like we're nearly there. Ah, yes, this looks about right. Awesome, right, now we just need to find out where the um, where they sell stuff. Um, where could it be? Maybe around the back here. Aha, this looks like it could be it. Let's um, yeah, pull up. Okay, uh, we need to unfold the livestock trailer, so we'll just do that, okay, let's go pick ourselves up some horses, so we have a few horses, it doesn't actually say how much they are, I don't believe that they're free, which seems a bit strange, but we can have a look and see which ones look quite nice, a thoroughbred, well I think I'm going to take Two of these ones. Apparently they're giving away horses. And there they are. You haven't paid them any money. How strange. Anyway, I'm not going to complain. If they want to give their horses away, that is fine by me. Alright, let's follow up the livestock trainer. Cool. Right, well let's head back to the farm and get these dropped off and I'll see you guys in a minute. Right, we are back. Now we just need to find out where we drop these off. So just slowly swing you out. Now is the turn drop off point down here? I think so. Why have we stopped? Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah, I know it's a bit bumpy. There we go. Right, it looks like it's here. Is the gate open? Hmm. Aha, here we go. That's where we need to be, so let's just drive around then. Right. Let's park up here then. And pull the livestock trailer. And we can yeah get these horses into the farm. Nice. There we go. Now, it's only showing one horse. Oh no, there, there, there's the second one. So, let's do a couple more runs, I believe. And yeah, we should have a nice paddock full of horses. Back in a minute. Okay, this is the last lot. Then I decided to get six in the end. Didn't want to get too many. Didn't want to kind of take the mick, as it were. But yeah, that six should be plenty. And if we've got someone to help us out, that would be awesome. So yeah, that would be very nice. But we do need to get them some water ASAP and some food. So we could really do with kind of another tractor to do some of the yard work 
So yeah, we will look into getting something for that, but let's just drop off these horses first. Very nice. Cool. Right. Nice paddock for the horses there. Now I guess we'll put pop this trailer away somewhere. We can just pop it just in here. We can squeeze it in. Look at that, like a glove. Perfect. Now we kind of need to look online and um, see what we can do about getting some sort of yard tractor. So let's um, let's go have a look online, shall we? So we have the Fortret ZT 320A. It's like a lovely little tractor to use as a yard thing. It also means we can have a front loader attacher, which is perfect, which is what we want. We also need, what else can we do? Beacon lights, yeah. Uh, we probably need narrow wheels, something like that. That would be perfect. And what other configurations can we get? Oh, different colours, very nice. I quite I kind of like the blue and white though. It's very nice. Yeah, I think we should go for that one. It's lovely. Cool. Right, let's give it a purchase then. Okay, here it is. It's very nice indeed. Uh, we're going to need obviously the front loader attacher and possibly a bucket to attach to that. And we are going to need some small, some sort of small trailer for food, and obviously we need a water, water container as well. So let's, um, I guess while we're here at the shop, we will go have a look, see what they got. So front loader attaches, we got the stall FZ30, that'll be perfect, and we'll just get it in a fairly close colour, maybe the Lemkin or the New Holland. I'm thinking the New Holland should probably work. Yeah, let's purchase that. We've also got the Stole Universal Bucket. Very nice, we don't really need to spray that because it's bound to get worn out anyway. So we'll purchase that. And you wouldn't believe what I found in the store. The old Ransom's Grain Trailer. Very nice indeed. Be nice to have that back, especially just for food work. Yeah, it proved very well in Dreisenhof, so why not get it again? Only three grand, right, lovely. Okay, right, we've got all the equipment. Well, we've got most of it anyway. We obviously need to come back for the um, the water tank. But for now, I believe that will certainly do to get the um, horses started. So, let's um, get everything attached. Very nice indeed. That's a pretty cool setup for yard work. Yeah, I reckon we get a lot done with that. Okay, let's um, get ourselves back to the farm, I guess, and get working. Okay, we're back at the farm. Now, these poor horses are going to need feeding straight away, so let's get this filled up. There we go, cool. Right, where is it? Oh, very nice. Now we just need to find out where the trough is. So we can put that in. I think it's this one here. Here we go. Nice, they are completely full. Right, I guess we'll um, go park it up somewhere. Keep it out of the rain and the wet, because obviously we don't want to get oats wet because they're all mushy. Right, back in a minute. Right, this shed here looks like it should be fairly well covered. 
nothing out the back either, so we can even reverse it straight in. As long as my reversing skills don't let me down, like they just have. <laughs> there we go, lovely. Right, right in the back. That shouldn't cause us any problems whatsoever now. Cool. Um, yes, let's um, head straight back to the dealership, I guess, and um, get ourselves a water tank. Okay, so they have got the Agramat TE4100. Looks like it'll do the job quite nicely. 4,000 litres. We don't really need treader borgs because we're only going around the yard in it. So yeah, that should be perfect. Let's purchase. Right, let's get this attached then, shall we? Now we need to go and fill it up at the tap, I guess. Right, back it a bit. Okay, here we go, right at the tap. Let's get this thing filled up, I guess. Now can have a bit. That should be perfect. Right, let's give these horses a well-deserved drink. So where is there? I think it's that one there, right in front of us, which is handy. Yeah, perfect. Wow, they are taking the knot. Let's just check to see if they need any more. They could do with a little bit more, but I think they should be okay for the minute. And they also need some straw and some hay, but we can do that tomorrow as it's getting dark. Because yeah, we won't be able to see what we're doing, unfortunately. Right, uh, we can just put the, the water tank there, that's fine. And yeah, let's go park this tractor up, I guess. Right, this is like a very nice new home for it. Let's just lower that down a wee bit, so you don't want to put any more pressure. Nice, lights off. Engine off. Lovely jumbly. So it looks like the shops are still open, so it looks like we can get ourselves a cultivator. So we can get starting work on that tomorrow. Right, where are the cultivators? So we have about... How much power do we have to play with? Bear with me one second. So we have about 214 horsepower. That should be plenty for a cultivator. Now, let's see what they have. So we have the Agramet Brony 5, 5 meters. That's not bad. It's quite cheap as well, which is good. Yeah, I think that was, that was the, um, the, the best one of the bunch that they had. So let's go ahead and purchase that. All right, we'll go take our uh, case. The big boy. And yeah, we'll go pick it up, ready for tomorrow. Okay, here we are at the dealership once again. I'm sure we'll be um, another valued customer like we were in Dreisenhof. Constantly back and forth here. Right, let's go and attach. Perfect. Right, we just need to fold it up. Nicely done. Now, I'm still feeling a bit energetic, so I reckon we could probably get at least one field cultivated ready for, um, yeah, to have some seed in it. Because, yeah, I know it's still, it is only 20 past six, I think, so I reckon with something with five meters, we should do okay. Right, I believe we'll head out straight to field number four. And we'll get cracking straight away. Okay, here we are, field number four. Let's get this clean quickly folded out. And yeah, we will get working straight away because, yeah, it's, um, it's getting dark. 
but I'm feeling good so as I say make hay while the sun shines but that's not quite the case in this format because it's pouring down with rain and it's also nearly dark but I guess keep working whilst you're feeling good works just as well I think right I guess the cheeky time lapse and I'll see you guys in a bit done and I'm absolutely knackered oh wow there we go Job done let's fold this up now let's um drag ourselves back home and yeah we will call it a night Go. Nicely does it. Turn the lights off. Now we'll. Oh, okay. Fine. We will just leave it as it is then because we are going to be using this tomorrow. So, engine off. Right. Let's um, quickly get inside before it rains. Okay, thank you very much for everyone that's tuned in today. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that we should make a fair bit of money out of these horses. But yeah, if you liked it, make sure you subscribe, give us a like, so you get all the future content, and I will see you in the next working day. Catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.